Hello, and welcome to Late Night Creations. I'm Kendra, really glad you're here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So glad you're here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I made these napkin rings. They are super easy, quick, budget-friendly, and you can make them last minute. Even if you use paper goods, put them on your paper napkins. It's sure to make your family smile. Here we go with the first napkin ring. I got these little wooden crosses at Hobby Lobby in a huge package. So they probably cost me like 10 cents or less each. And then I have this, some scrap rope. This is not rope, this is leather that I had in a big bag of scraps and I braided this together in a former video and I, so I didn't have the footage to show you how I braided it, but you just knot one end, braid it, not the other end. And then we're gonna just glue this simple little cross on top of the braid. You can paint the cross whatever color you want to. Um, however you wanna make it would be just fine. So now I'm just gluing it on there, making sure it stays good. And I'm going to be putting all of my napkin rings on this gray linen napkin I have because it's what I have. I also have some uh, paper napkins that I'm going to use to show you how cute these look on paper napkins as well, if you're a paper napkin kind of person. <laughs> This is a shower curtain ring I got at Dollar General, 12 in a package for $1. What a buy. Now I'm just going to take this jute twine and I'm just going to wrap it around this napkin ring until the entire thing is covered. Just making sure it's right up butted next up to each other every time I go through. Now eventually I cut that and I don't, you know, throw that little whole spool through there every time. And then I just glue it down when I run out and add another piece. Now here I'm showing you how when you use different thicknesses of twine, the difference in what your napkin rings are gonna look like. So for this one, we're gonna use the one I have in my hand now. And we're gonna add some of these beautiful floral cherry blossoms from Dollar Tree. I'm not usually a huge fan of Dollar Tree florals, but I thought these were really pretty and they work. Dollar Tree does have pretty florals, Sometimes you just have to make sure that you pick good ones. Sometimes they have leaves missing or something like that. So just look them over really good. So here I decide that that little white, I guess it's green, light green stem that had it holding on to the bunch was gonna make it stick up too tall. And so I just cut it off. Now, I think this looks adorable and cute as is. You could absolutely use it just like that, but I'm going to be a little extra and add some extra flowers on and make it a little bit fuller of a bouquet on there. And I think it looks adorable both ways. So you just make it you. Everybody has their own taste. You may choose to use some different kinds of flowers, but I just thought these little cherry blossoms were so beautiful for spring and they would just add a little pop of color to any table for Easter. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. Do you like to decorate the table for Easter or do you do it like we do it in my house and we just kind of do it buffet style with paper goods? Okay, so I'm not sure what happened to my audio that had music playing while I showed you the finished product, but I'll just talk to you instead. I think that these turned out really pretty. They look pretty on those white plates. And next, napkin rings. So I'm gonna show you that I use the middle out of those empty ribbon rolls. Like I told you in many videos, I don't throw anything away. I have these little half beads and I'm just gluing them right on that little cardboard ring. And I am going to give them a little coat of light pink, color them, paint them whatever color you choose. I'm gonna show you later on in this um, that you could also use other things besides this if you haven't saved any of these um, cardboard. I'm sure not everybody saves these like I do. But anyway, just give it a good coat of paint and I'm gonna paint it really good and then I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna take some, um, oh, some white Waverly 
chalk paint and give it a little, you know, light brushing of white on there to create that look. So the next one is another one of those from the middle of a ribbon. And I just got some ribbon that is the same width. And I'm just going to wrap that ribbon all the way around this spool. That's what it's called, a spool. Okay, so the inner part of the spool from the ribbon. And it's just a piece of cardboard, but I've used them for many, many things. So, you know, it's like trash to treasure here. So I'm just going to wrap that all the way around, gluing it down. I use a whole lot of glue and kind of just, I'm going back over it and over it like that to kind of make it flat so that, you know, that they're kind of flat. So now I got this little trim at Dollar Tree. I was so excited when I found this. And I'm going to just glue it all the way around at the top and the bottom. And give it just a cute, cute little sassy added trim to it. And I think that this one turned out so, so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you would put this on your table or no. Now I found this sign at Dollar Tree with all these cute little bunnies on it. And I have some yarn that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I was so excited. They only had one skein of this yarn. And I was so excited to get it. And so here's another one of those spools from the middle of a ribbon. And I'm just going in and out, in and out. Just get it close together. And I'm not even, I'm gluing it like every little bit. Now this step is optional. I just wanted to give it a little bit more texture. And I kind of just made some X's. So I came in and I... Then I just made an X with it. And you can't really see it. It'd be cute if you did it with maybe an opposite color. Like if you're going to use that pink bunny to use the pink yarn. But I just did it with the white to give it some extra texture. Then I'm trying to decide if I want to use the pink bunny. Or do I want to use the burlap bunny. And I decide on the burlap bunny. And I think that's going to look cute with that white. Either one of them would be cute. And then I want to do something to cover up those holes. So I just put some of that yarn through and make a little bow. It's just like a little shoestring bow, like you're tying your shoes. And then I think that looks adorable, like I have a little bow in her hair. And then I have this fray check. I use this a lot on the ends of my ribbons and this yarn kept shedding. And so I decided that I needed it on the ends of there. I'm just gonna glue this little bunny to the top of that and look how cute. That little bunny could just hop right on my table anytime. I think it's adorable. And look at it with those silverware. Those are plastic silverware. Okay, now there, here's this fatter, fatter, wider, fuller, that's a better word, fuller <laughs> um, napkin ring that I made earlier, that I showed you earlier. I'm using that fray check on the ends of my Grow Gain ribbon because if you've ever worked with it, you know that it frays really bad. And so that's going to keep it from fraying. A lot of times I'll burn it, but we don't want to burn the ribbon. Now I found these baker, they look like baker's twine, but they're, they're a little skinnier. And I found them at Dollar Tree. Um, not my Dollar Tree. I was out of town when I found them. And they're so cute for spring. Oh dear. Let me get that cut off. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Um, I'm just going to make one of those finger bows where you just wrap the string around your fingers and tie it in the middle. I'm going to hold it really good with my thumb. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to make it pretty thick because uh, this is going to be the main bulk of the bow. And then just tie it in the middle of that. I'm just going to hold it down there. And tie it right in the center. I always look a little awkward when I'm trying to tie things like this because I'm trying to, not cover up everything I'm doing, but th then, you know, sometimes the struggle. So here it is. Just twist it until it looks good like you want it. Tied up real tight there. I do like to wrap that ribbon, that twine around the center of the ribbon a time or two, and it gives that little, kind of that little thick piece in the middle. And then just snip off all the extras, hot glue that bad boy down on there, and a look. I love this one. This could be spring, summer. You could use any of those colors. You could make all of them different colors on your table. I think they all would look beautiful. 
Now I told you these were going to be quick and easy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now here is my box of ribbon spools. And I chose this one for the next one and I'm going to take that X-Acto knife and you know, clean off all the excess. If you need to take a little sandpaper, you can just kind of sand it on there. And then I have this um, thicker baker's twine in my stash. And I absolutely love this. I've used it for Christmas. Now I'm using it for Easter. I've used it for Valentine's Day. It is just so versatile. I'm not sure where I got this though. I may have gotten this at Walmart. Like, I don't, I, I can't even remember. I've had it for so long and I've just used it and used it. It just goes a long way. So the same thing I did on all the other napkin rings, I'm just going to, you know, wind it around there. And then I've got some more Dollar Tree florals that I thought were cute. And I like, I love these. I don't know. I think we called these junk. They kind of remind me of jonquils anyway, but they were called, I don't remember what they were called. Nar Narcissus, something like that. And so we're just going to put that little flower on there, put a little couple of green pieces. I toyed with the idea of putting that some other little yellow pieces like I did on the pink one, but I decided I really just liked it just like that. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. Okay, if you don't have a box of trash like I do, you can use a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll or any of those out of um, wrapping paper or anything. And they work really good with the cloth napkins, not cloth, paper napkins, because the paper napkins are thinner than those cloth napkins. And so it would be so fun to get your kids to help you make these. Um, you could have them decorate them, you know, color on them or whatever even. Um, but I have this ribbon that came on a pack of washcloths. I never throw those away. And then I, it, you would just cut it your, your off your paper towel roll, the width of your ribbon. However wide your ribbon is, that's how wide you would make your, your napkin ring. So this was how the ribbon that I wanted to use for this one. And so you see how I'm just like, I'll put the glue on there and then I use the tip of my hot glue gun to kind of spread it out a little bit. So I was trying to decide, do I want to put a bunny on? Do I want to put flowers on? Do I, what do I want to do? And then I remembered I had these stickers that I'd picked up at Dollar Tree and I think this looks really cute. And when I put it in that that um, white napkin inside there, it makes that purple pop. I think that's super cute. Fun. But like I said, you could have your kids put stickers on them and let them actually make the napkin rings. Okay, next one. We're moving right along here. So I've got my wooden beads and I'm going to string these wooden beads on this jute twine that I have put a piece of masking tape on the end so that they it pokes through there very quickly and easily. And then I'm just going to get my napkin to see how big around I need to make, how many I need on there and how big around I need it. And so I cinched it up and it was going to pinch my napkin a little too much. So I went ahead and added another bead to it that, that just wasn't long enough and I think one bead added to it I think I just added one bead and it made it see how much difference that one little bead made so I'm going to just tie it off and secure it like that but I'm not going to cut those tails off yet we're going to leave those on there because we're going to use them we're going to make a tassel with this twine and so same as if it's the same concept as a finger bow kind of you're just going to wrap that twine, if I can get it situated correctly. And, I, you know, you want to be pretty thick because it's going to be a tassel. I'm just going to wrap it around quite a few times. I'm almost out of frame there. I apologize. And however thick you want your tassel to be, that, that looks good to me. So we're going to cut it off at the end. And then I'm going to use that string that's hanging down from the napkins to go through the top. So where my, where my top finger is, I'm going to pull that string through the top. Now, other people might find an easier way to do this, but this is how I do it. Okay, so I've got too many loose strings hanging there, so hang on, let me get myself organized and we'll move on with this tassel. Okay, there we go. And 
pull it up to the top there, and then we're going to tie a double knot or tie a knot. Really tight knot. We don't want this thing going anywhere. And then I make sure that they're all pulled down straight. That's what I was doing there before I tie it really good. Okay. Now we can snip those off. Snippity dippity do. There they go. Now keep making sure that those are pulled down straight. And then we're going to add some cute spring Easter ribbon. I got this at Dollar Tree. I, I rarely get to snag any cute ribbon or mine doesn't have any. Um, I don't have the best Dollar Trees in my town. I have two, but they're not the greatest. And so sometimes when I'm out of town or we go see our kids, we stop on the road and check out other Dollar Trees. But my Dollar Tree had this ribbon and I, I, I just grabbed it up. Now I'm gonna take a ex that extra little scrap of twine you're going to see in a minute, I get kind of frustrated with that little piece hanging down. Not sure why I didn't just cut it, but anyway, I'm going to just tie a little um, knot up there to hold that. It looks like I'm going to wrap it around another time. Um, and then tie it in the back and tie a little knot to hold that ribbon in place and to hold our tassel in place. Tassels are so easy to make and they just add such extra little charm to any DIY project. Just add a little tassel here, add a little tassel there. And there we go, snip off those little ends. And then we're gonna flip it back down and look how cute our tassel's looking. There's that piece that's driving me crazy. So I want that ribbon to be under that. I don't want it to be above that one that we just tied. Okay, now we're gonna cut our tassel. So I'm pulling it all the way to the end so they're all the same. And look, I don't even, I don't even really need to trim that. The bad thing about that twine that's been rolled up is sometimes they don't hang down straight and you kind of have to, I do it kind of like you would do curling ribbon sometimes or sometimes if you just hold it in the warmth of your hand, it'll go ahead and comply. So give that a little snip, make it all cutesy. And I, look, how easy was that? Quick and easy. You can make however many you need in no time at all, six. If you need six or eight for your table. Now this one is adorable and I didn't get footage of me putting it together. I don't know if I forgot to hit record or what, but it's just a simple piece of ribbon. I got a sticker. I got these felt stickers from Dollar Tree and I used my hole punch to poke a hole in each one of his cheeks and I just pulled that ribbon up through there. Now here comes our bonus DIY. This is not really a napkin ring, but it's gonna be super cute. So I got this garland at Dollar Tree, and I'm trying to decide which colors I want to do. I'm gonna show you two different ways that I did this. I made several of these, and they turned out so cute, and it's so inexpensive. You paid $1.25 for this whole pack of these, and you could get several. If I could do math fast and quick, you could get four out of this, um, this one pack. That's pretty cheap. And you wouldn't really even have to add anything else to it if you didn't want to. Well, I guess we do need to cover up those holes, but I mean, it's easy. And these little tails were not coming off easy. So I just snipped that tail off. You're not gonna see that part anyway. And then just lay that. I'm laying this on just to see where I wanted to cut it. And I drew my line. And then I'm going to cut the bunny's head off. But I use it for another uh, DIY right after this. So, no worries. You could cut it a little taller if you wanted to. I definitely wouldn't cut it shorter. But you definitely could cut it. I think it would be cute too to put like suckers in here for your kids. You'll see when we get done. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Okay. And we're just going to run hot glue all around the edge. Don't get too close in or you'll lose some of your space You're in your pocket. And then just hot glue that and then press it together. The good thing about felt is that it glues to each other really nicely. So that's going to hold really good. Then I decide just to make a little bow and put it up there to cover up those two little holes. And she has a cute little bow in her hair. And now you could just leave it like this. 
This would be so cute. Just like this, you could put some lollipops, some suckers, some candies in there. But I think it's cute to put your silverware. These are plastic. I got these at Sam's. I've had this big package of them for a long time. And I have my dining room table set with them. Like, we don't ever eat at that table. And so, but, you, but Dollar Tree has them in silver as well. And so they just look, they just make a pretty table setting. So I'm thinking, oh, that would be super cute to put that, some of that white yarn across there. Um, but instead, I used some more of that ribbon that has the little pom-poms dangling for some. This little, this little bunny girl is, she's a little sassy, so she needed something besides just yarn. She needed some little pom-poms on her necklace. So that's what I decided to give her. So there she is. Is she not adorable? I think she's just as cute as she can be. And I think they would be cute on the table. Or like I said, you could put suckers or candies in there for your kids. Okay, here's the one I did with the blue and the purple. And I did use the yarn across there. And with that Girl Game ribbon, just cut a piece and pinched it in the middle to make a bow. And there are those two. And I think, I think they turned out really, really cute. Let me know what y'all think. Now, with the head that I cut off, I decided I would make another little project. So I cut the neck, I cut the head all around, cut all that little extra pieces off the bottom, and then I just am gonna cut a hole in the middle. So I fold it in half so I can just put get the hole where I want it. It's easier to cut it that way. And at first, I just made a little bitty slit. I do not know what I was thinking. And I'm thinking I'm going to put the paper napkins in this one. Look, it looks like eyes and a mouth. Isn't that funny? So I thought I'm going to use the paper napkin with these. And that paper napkin is, I don't know what I was thinking. Can you not see that that paper napkin is absolutely not going to go through that little tiny slit? Okay, so let's start over. And let's just make that hole a little bit bigger. And then get that napkin in there because this is just the cutest, simplest little thing you can do with your scrap that was left over. Now, we're not gonna throw anything away that we cut off. We're gonna keep it for the next DIY. Okay, then I decide to put a little, we gotta cover up those so they don't look like eyes. So just put a little bow on her hair, on her head. I'm sure she has hair all over her if she's a bunny, right? And then we'll put that napkin through that hole and you'll see how cute this is. I think it turned out super duper cute. I'm cutting something over there. What am I doing? Oh, I was deciding whether I wanted to put some little purple um, florals on there, but I don't know. If y'all know me by now, you know that I struggle with the florals. So I, I decided to get rid of it, but if you can make them look cute, um, go ahead and do that on yours. So here they are. I hope I got a picture of the bunny one. Yes, there it is in the napkin. How cute is that? I love the way that these all turned out. I think they are just lovely for any table and you can make them quick and last minute inexpensive.